everyone. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to make the warm and cozy crochet cowl. For this, you will need your selective yarn. I have chosen four seasons, Marvel, 8 ply. This is 100% acrylic and requires G hook or 4 mm crochet hook. You'll also need two buttons. Those are light wood and they measure approximately 2.5 centimeters. You'll need a sewing needle and a pair of scissors. Now for this cowl, you can make it in one single color or if you prefer, you can make it in two different colors, three colors, it's really up to you. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make it in two different colors. So let's begin. This cowl can be made in different sizes. So it can be made for adults, teenagers, children, toddlers, babies. And if you want all this extra information, you can find them in the written pattern, which is located in the description box below. In this tutorial, however, we will be making a cowl for adults. In order to do this, we begin by having our selective yarn and our required hook. As for myself, I'm using Fuchsia color in Marvel Soft and we begin by making a slip knot. Now that we have the slip knot done, we have to go ahead and make chain 37. One, two, three, four, and continue to do this till you have a chain of 37. Now that you have made your chain of 37 stitches make sure that you remember that this does not count as a stitch so your last stitch so you should count 37 as this this you should this should be your 37 and not this one okay so for round two we'll have to make one double crochet in the second stitch from the hook so this is the first stitch so in the second stitch from the hook which is this one we're gonna go ahead and make one double crochet so yarn over your hook and insert your hook into the second stitch which is just this one pull the yarn through pull the yarn through once and twice just like this now for the remaining stitches we have to make one double crochet in every single stitch yarn over your hook once my next stitch is just this one pull over once and twice one double crochet into the next stitch and we'll continue to do one double crochet into each remaining stitch for the rest of the stitches so continue to do one double crochet in every single stitch till the end. So here I am, just one more stitch two, two, till I finish round two. So 
transfer to the last double crochet for this round so there you go this is the back of your work and this is the front for round three uh, actually before we move on so then you chain one and just turn your work and for round three we start by making one double crochet in the first stitch so yarn over once and this is my first stitch right there pull through once pulled twice next what we have to do instead of making one double crochet in the top of the stitch just here we're gonna be making one double crochet by inserting the hook through here and through here that's how it looks from the front that's how it looks from the back so in other words we're gonna insert the crochet hook and uh, I will call it like a loop so under the loop rather than on the top so normally we will insert the crochet hook in the top of the stitch but now we can insert it between just the hook through here and here so in other words around the I'll call it the loop so just around the, the loop so again we'll make it up one double crochet so yarn over your hook and not on the top but just through there and there grab the yarn pull it through now you have one two three on the loop on the hook and pull through one once and pull through twice okay and then you will need to make one double crochet into the next two stitches so one here and one here do not go through through like this but make sure you just make one double crochet into one stitch and one double crochet into the next stitch so yarn over once search your hook pull through once pull through twice and the same into the next stitch make one double crochet just like that and then into the next stitch we gonna make one double crochet but not on top but just through just around the loop so it's one yarn around your hook and insert your hook just like this bring the yarn through pull through once pull through twice and then make one double crochet into this stitch and one double crochet into the next stitch again yarn over your hook once one double crochet into the top of the next stitch and one double crochet to the top of the next stitch just like that now again make one double crochet around the loop so yarn over just like that and then 
one double crochet into the top of the next stitches so one here and one here and into the next stitch one double crochet and as you can see your work is starting to take shape that's the front and that's the back so for the remaining of this round you have to continue to do the following as we have done till now so in this stitch you have to make one double crochet around the loop once you've done that in the next two stitches make one double crochet on the top one here and one here then again one double crochet in the loop then one double crochet into the next top two stitches and continue to do that for the remaining of the round and I will show you how to do it when you get to the end so I'm nearly finished with round three I have just did my one double crochet around the loop now we have to make one double crochet in the next two stitches top of the stitch so just one and one double crochet in the top of the next stitch next we gonna do we have so what we have left now is two stitches as you can see from the top one and two into this stitch we gonna do one double crochet around the loop and then into this it's a bit hard to see it from the side but if you just turn your work like this so this is you've worked into this so this is your last stitch because this has been worked in by here this is it and then one double crochet at the top of the last stitch which is this one so just turn your work to be able to insert the hook like that once and twice and that's round three completed it should look like this and that's from the back now we have to chain one and turn your work and now we will commence round four in round four we have to make one double crochet into the first stitch first stitch is just there pull through once and twice next we're gonna make one double crochet into the next stitch top of the next stitch just there so this is the back of your work as you can see the reason why I'm mentioning this is because uh, when you do the back of your work you actually be going to do one double crochet around two loops this one and next one and only one double crochet in the top of the stitch as remember when we did the front of the work we did one double crochet um, one double crochet around the loop and then one double crochet around two two of the stitches in the top let's continue with round four 
So we've done one double crochet into the first stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch, and now we're gonna do one double crochet into the following stitch, but no longer on the top, but around the first loop. And then one double crochet around the next loop. Then one double crochet into the top stitch, then the next stitch, so in the top. So that's the pattern of round four one double crochet under the first loop one double crochet under the next loop and one double crochet into the top of the stitch then again one double crochet under the next loop one double crochet under the second loop and one double crochet into the top of the stitch and you can you continue to do that for the rest of the round Now that you are towards the end of your work, so continue to follow the repetition. So one double crochet around the first loop, one double crochet around the second loop, and then right towards the end you have, if you turn it this way you can see it better, you have two stitches left, one and two. So once you have done one double crochet around the first loop, one double crochet around the second loop. You should have two stitches left at the end. Start a hook into the top of the next stitch and make one double crochet. And then insert a hook into the last stitch and make another one double crochet. So that's how your work should look at the end of round four. That's the back and that's the front. So this is how my work looks. I have finished with the first color. As I said earlier, I'm making this cowl in two different colors. But if you were going to make it in just one color, then you'll continue to make it till the required length. This is the back of the work. And this is the front. So if you've decided to make your cowl uh, in two different colors, then you'll need to have for the first color 22 rounds, just like I have. So one. One of these round uh, or squares, if you like, it requires round three and round four to make one of these um, rounds as seen in here. So in total, I have 22. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. This, remember, this counts as the first, and then the entire lot, you should have 22 um, squares or rounds, however you want to call it. Now, let's go ahead and attach the second color. So now that we have finished, I'm just pulling this a bit more so it doesn't come apart. Just take your scissors and just cut your yarn. And before you attach your yarn, make sure you have not just yet worked into your last stitch, which is this one. So before we do that, I'll show you why I don't complete that. Because 
if you complete it and then attach a second color it won't look right so again yarn over your hook insert the hook into the last stitch bring the yarn through and then pull through once but do not pull through again with the same yarn for my second color I'm using this it's like a more like a coral color let me just take my end trying to get my end yep I got it and so I take this other color that you want to um, finish your cowling and just pull it through through the two stitches left in your hook go through well. let's do that again like that and then pull on to the pink yarn just so it gives you tighter finish and then so you finish that and then as you remember before we commence into round um, four because we will be doing the back next we chain one and then we turn our work. And again, now that we are facing the back, again, one double crochet into the first stitch. Just like that. And then one double crochet into the next stitch, just there. And then, because this is the back, remember we're doing one double crochet under the next two loops. So this is the first one. And that's the second one. Then one double crochet at the top of the stitch. Again, under the one double crochet under the next two loops and one double crochet at the top of the stitch so you'll continue to finish your round four and then of course you'll do round three round four round three and so on i'll just show you how this looks from the front so that's how it looks from the front and as you can see the joining is it's just right and if you want for extra security you can take this yarn and this yarn and tie them together I usually do that I tie them twice just to make sure that it doesn't come apart and then just wave your, just wave your end in so as I said, continue to do another 22 of those um, till you get to the end of the cowl. So continue to repeat round 3 and round 4 till you reach the desired length. Okay, so I'm using a different color cowl here, but this is a cowl for adults and the same technique. So remember, till now, I've showed you how to make the pattern, how to change the different color yarn. And you will have continued to repeat round 3 and round 4. So in the different color yarn you should have, so this is where you will have, will have been your first row when you change with the different color yarn. So you should have from here till here you should have 21 of those um, rounds or blocks or squares whatever you want to call them so let's count them together 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So when you get to the 21 round in this color, we're going to go ahead and make the buttonholes. So grab your, your cowl. So remember, this is the front of your work. Always, before you continue to the next round, chain one and turn your work. And in this round, we're gonna make the buttonholes. So this is the back of your work. So this will be round four, but in this round, we will also make buttonholes. So one double crochet into the first stitch just there and then one double crochet into the next stitch then one double crochet into this loop and one double crochet into the next loop Just like that. Next, you want to instead of continue with the pattern, what you want to do next, you want to do one double crochet into the top of the stitch just in there, and then you have to chain two, one and two, and skip those two loops. So, skip this stitch this loop skip this loop and work one double crochet into the uh, this stitch so skip one two and into the third stitch the top of the third stitch work one double crochet and that's your first pattern hole created and then continue with the design so now one double crochet into this loop one double crochet into to the slope then one double crochet into the top of the stitch and continue to work the pattern for round four okay so continue to continue to work round four until you have left seven stitches so one two three four five six seven so up to here you're welcome to put a stitch marker just in there if you make it easier for you so you should work into this stitch and then i'll show you how to finish up the rest okay so now that you have my camera it's yep can see that now now that you have seven stitches left so one two three four five six seven you can go ahead so your last stitch should be on the top of the stitch and then you should chain two one and two skip this chain and this chain so skip one two and into the third stitch make one double crochet and you have created your second buttonhole and then finish off the remaining stitches so next so we've worked one double crochet into the top of the stitch next make one double crochet into two under this loop and 
and then one double crochet under the second loop and then finish off this round by making one double crochet into this stitch and one double crochet into the last stitch There you go and you've got your buttonhole one here and one here and to finish off your cowl this will be the last round chain one and turn your work and then we will no longer do round three and round four but in this last round we will make one double crochet all around the entire uh, from this corner uh, and up to this corner so one double crochet into the first stitch then one double crochet into the next stitch one double crochet in the remaining six stitches every single stitch till the other side so continue as you can see it should look like this so continue to make one double crochet in the remaining stitches your last stitch should be your last double crochet should be right here so one double crochet in every single stitch and your last one should be just there and now I'm just at the end of the two stitches so one and two and just finishing them off with one double crochet just pull your yarn and just take your scissors just pull this through and there you go that's the end of your cowl that's your complete cowl finished now I have also sewn my buttons in so let me try to you can see the cowl better so your cowl should look like this that's the back and that's that's the front this is where your buttonholes are just like that now I just want to show how to so the buttonholes are at the end of your cowl just like this and you don't want to sew your buttons here you want to take the other side of the cowl and with the right side facing you you want to bring it just put the one side this way and one side this way and you want to position the cowl in such a way that it matches this end, this with this end and this with this end and then where your buttonhole is you'll just lift up, put a stitch marker and then you'll sew in your button one of them, just under that one and the other button under the next one and then once it is done, wave in your ends of course and then button up the other side so once you have sewn your buttons and you have waved in your ends you are pretty much done you can wear the cowl as it is so with the sides up or you can also put the sides down and wear it like this so this is the front of your cowl and then 
this is the back of your cover so there you go feel free to make this for yourself for your friends i hope you enjoy making this warm and cozy cowl thanks again for watching and see you again some other time bye bye